Hello everyone, welcome to the Groval Tennis Center. My name is Max Mangonis, I'm the director of tennis here. And as you can tell, I'm a little bit sweaty. I just played this kid over here. I think I played probably my best set in two years, but I lost 6-4. Now, this is John Michael Holtman. He's the top junior tennis player in the state of Florida. I feel some bit of satisfaction though, because he's been one of my students for a while, so him beating me doesn't make me feel too bad. One of the shots I'm going to demonstrate today is John Michael's backhand. The reason why I lost, ladies and gentlemen, is not necessarily because of his forehand, mostly because of his backhand. That's one of the most improved shots John Michael possesses. We're going to talk about two key components here. We're going to talk about footwork, and we're going to talk about the way he hits through the ball. Okay? The number one shot he's going to work on in the next few seconds here is a backhand where he's stepping into the ball. As you're going to see, John Michael is going to get his hips turned and then he's going to drive through the ball. The next shot's going to be when he gets a little bit pressured on the run, his ability to hit an open stance backhand and still hit a great shot, somewhat turning defense into offense. Okay? We'll be right back. As you can see, instead of waiting for that shot, John Michael is always looking forward to stepping into the ball. Now when we're playing a set, he gets that backhand. Instead of stepping back and hitting a shot with no weight on it, he's stepping in, hitting through the ball, creates a lot more power. He doesn't necessarily have to overhit the ball. The movement forward creates the power, and he's able to actually get a lot more weight on the ball. Okay? Now we're going to watch John Michael hit a few defensive backhands on the run. Excellent. Now, this is one of the most important shots in tennis nowadays, the game is so fast, sometimes it's harder to get your body turned and step into the ball every time. With that shot right there, a couple steps out to the side, John Michael is able to get himself set. He's able to transfer his weight forward into the shot and get a lot of power from that shot as well. Let's watch it one more time as George feeds a couple wide backhands. Now I want you guys to watch one key component here He's still hitting the inside out backhand, but watch his shoulder turn. Okay? So, Michael, go ahead. Excellent. Okay. One more time. Look at the shoulder turn. That's it. Now, as you can tell, this is a shot that normally most tennis players would have gone back this far to hit. John Michael is able to hug the baseline, get the shoulder turn and hit that shot with enough power because he's loading up with the legs and, and getting his weight going forward into the shot, okay? Very important. 